What's going on guys? Today we're going to be going over the Nelly Bly quest. This is one of the main story quests kind of before I say the end game of Nightingale. It requires you going around to different realms to acquire resources to help you build a portal so that you can get back to one of the main civilization points of humanity. Now this quest is the main storyline. It's actually a quest that you get fairly early on after you uh, finish your first quest in your Bane's realm with it first asking you to get the herbarium power card. So not really too much detail here. You're basically going to have to unlock that herbarium site of power. There's a couple other ones that'll be before this and just focus on getting your gear score to around 60 and you'll be able to get that really easily. It's power level 50 for that card, but you'll most likely be at gear score 60 when you do this quest. So very straightforward. You'll unlock that card. The boss isn't really too difficult or anything. It's kind of a fun little boss fight because you could fall off very easily from pretty high height. But in general, this part of the quest is the easiest. Now, once you get that herbarium power card, you'll have to go to an herbarium desert location. So once you build both those cards, put them in your portal, you'll be transferred to the realm with Nelly Bly there. Now, I'm not sure if every single person's realm is the same, but I'm fairly certain they are. And Nelly Bly is kind of in a pain in the butt location. She's on top of this really high hill. And there's a couple ways to get there. Uh, the first one, there's a site of uh, power right below that you can do. I think it's uh, insight. And sometimes you're able to get the uh, blessing that lets you soar. It's the blessing of soaring, I believe. And if you get that, you're going to be able to make your way up that mountain very, very easily. Now, if you just have to walk up like a normal person, uh, right here is probably the easiest place for you to walk up there. I haven't done like a whole 360 around this area because I didn't think it was that important. So you'll just follow this little kind of, it looks like a walkable path. You played Skyrim, you can get up this. And there'll be some uh, areas where you'll, you'll have to jump basically and uh, do the ledge climbing. If you have the climbing picks, maybe it'll be a little bit easier for you to get up these. But uh, I just feel like the mining picks haven't been super helpful for me, at least as of yet. So you can walk up this, you don't need those picks. And once you get to Nelly Bly, you'll get some lower. It'll tell you about kind of what they're doing and what she needs help with, and she'll task you to gain these three resources. One is an ingot that you'll get from the Sun Giants. One is this automaton oil that you'll get from an automaton bishop. And the last item is an Elder Eotin art that you will get from an Elder Eotin. And if I'm not saying that right, it's one of those weird words, I'm not too sure how to say it. Now this will break the quest up into three different spots. And the first one that we're going to talk about is the Automaton Oil. This will bring you back to a character that you might have ran into earlier if you've ever visited a Desert Astrolab realm, which you might not have. It's one of those things where if you're spending a lot of time just kind of exploring different realms and stuff like that, you might have ran into him before. But you're going to go out and meet with Victor Frankenstein and Victor Frankenstein is going to have you do a couple things. Now, I had already spoken with him and I received a quest from him in the first place and I'm not sure if this is one that you're going to have to do, but we'll talk about it just in case you do have to do it. And this is going to be another gather materials quest for him. This one will take a little bit. The main reason being that you have to acquire ingredients from bound enemies. If you have been spending a lot of time kind of going around and doing all the sites of uh, power, you might have a lot of these, but there are a couple that'll take a little bit longer. In the journal, it'll tell you what enemies drop what items, and the only difficult ones to really get because you don't see the enemies in a large quantity are going to be the U lumber, which drop from the heavy like Beastmaster looking guys. They're the really large enemies that have that really big like maul that after they take about like two-thirds damage, they'll fall on the ground, get really fast, and start punching. There's the hollow ingots, which will drop from these guys that look like they have mining equipment on their back, and they will shoot you with fire. Really annoying. There are these gems that you'll have to get from enemies that aren't... They're not a pain in themselves. Their ability is to make one of the other enemies not be able to take damage, so you have to take care of them first. Uh, not really too crazy difficult, but... You don't run into them in high numbers. And then the last one's going to be dropped by those bound assassins. It's another ingot. It's just kind of annoying to find them. You'll find them in the sites of power again. And then once you have all of these ingredients, make sure that you don't build anything. This is just a warning. I got rid of my items multiple times. The auto add resource to say like some type of structure that you're building or uh, even just equipment in general. It'll use whatever ingots or whatever lumber or whatever fiber there is. So I recommend either keeping everything in your inventory and not doing anything else until you're done with this quest or having a very specific chest that your companion does not have access to and storing those ingredients in there. After you get all that, you'll go back to Frankenstein. You'll turn in that quest. 
I'll give you a couple items and then you'll get access to the next quest, which has to do with getting more ingredients from automatons. You're going to look for the automaton rooks. You'll generally find one of them in a group of six. You can tell because they actually, they're supposed to look like chess pieces, I'm assuming. The easiest way to tell what's what is use a spyglass. It'll tell you the name. Uh, this, this quest is really quick. It's not really that difficult. You'll be able to finish this up very quickly in the same realm with Frankenstein. So you don't have to go to a different realm for this one. Get all those ingredients, go back to Frankenstein, and he will give you the ability to make the offering. Uh, each one of these quests is going to have you build one of these offerings. Uh, you have two options. You can either use this offering to trade for the item that you're trying to get, or you can just go and kill it. You don't have to do any of these other quests. You can just go and fight the boss if you want to. There are achievements for doing the peaceful way, and it does seem that like the majority of the NPCs would rather you don't kill them, uh, but you could do whatever you want, really. For the automaton one, I decided to do the uh, trade. So you'll go make this offering. Doesn't take anything too crazy. I think the most difficult thing to find would be the chamomile seed. But for the large majority of the ingredients that go into all of these offerings, you're just going to be able to use the uh, essence traders to buy the ingredients that you need. Now, this is probably the hardest part of this quest, and that's just locating one of these bishops. I, I've heard things where it's easier to find them in the later uh, stages, the different like higher difficulty realms. They're always going to be in deserts. Um, I. I Pretty sure you can just find one inside Victor Frankenstein's realm. You don't have to go anywhere else. This is where I found mine. It was actually relatively close to where he is. All I can suggest is that you carry around a spyglass because it's going to be able to show you the names of enemies well before you get close to them. The bishops look somewhat similar to the knights. They just don't have the sword. They're holding something else in their hands. And you'll find them surrounded by a large amount of automatons. So you're either going to get really lucky and find it very quick, or you're going to be like me, where I walked around the hold realm and I only found it at the end. It was very unfortunate, but it'll just take you like 10-15 minutes. It's not that big of a deal. Once you find him, if you either decided to kill him, go ahead and kill him. You don't have to do any of the other quests. Or do the trade and you'll just put an item inside a little thing that he'll spawn in front of him. And then he will give you the item that you need. I recommend you just... Put this in a chest, keep it safe, because you don't want to accidentally use it somehow. I don't even know. That would be so depressing. You could probably just go get another one using the trade or just go kill another one, but just put it in a chest and keep it safe. Now, the second item that you're going to be going for that we'll talk about is going to be the one with the sun giants. So you'll have to go and talk with Wilhelma uh, to get some information. She's the one that tells you about rumors. You met her early on. She's in your abeyance realm. Go talk to her. She'll give you rumors for two experts that you can go talk to. Uh, one expert is going to give you information on the Sun Giants, and the other expert is going to give you uh, information on the Elder Etons. For the Elder Sun Giants, like with the Automaton, if you want to just go fight one, you can. You can find them in Desert Hunt Realms, so feel free, go fight them. It's a cool little boss fight. Uh, I decided to trade for this one as well, so you'll go and talk to a Grendel, and you'll find this Grendel named Danu in a Swamp Gloom Realm. Once you find her, they'll give you a quest saying that they hear all these noises in their heads and you'll find out that these are just the little pillars of insight. You're going to have to go around and do five of these. If you're really fortunate, you'll be able to do five in that same gloom realm. So don't do any of these. I know that's really hard because like I, if I see those ones, I just go and do them immediately. They're definitely the easiest ones other than the occupations. Uh, this is the one where you have to put the three little ancient mechanisms in order. Uh, but there are larger ones that have like five or six of these, so it can be kind of a pain. But you'll have to do five of these. Uh, you can do these in any realm, so you're not locked to just doing it in the swamp realm that you're in. That would just save you some time. And once you complete five of those, you'll go back to Danu, and they will give you the recipe to make another offering. Uh, this, this offering was a little bit annoying. Uh, the most difficult thing, depending on where you're at, would be a etched precious metal ingot. The easiest way to get these ingredients again is just to go to an essence trader. You're able to buy etched ingots uh, that are copper. If you're able to buy the copper ones, that is going to count for the recipe, but it has to be copper, silver, or gold. Copper is definitely going to be the easiest thing for you to find. And in the store, it's not going to say precious etched metal ingot. It's just going to say metal ingot. So make sure you see what type of material it's made out of before you buy it. Now, once you make the offering, you go and show it to Danu. They're like, okay, cool. Then you'll head over to a hunt desert realm. Again, use your spyglass. These guys are a lot bigger, so they're a lot easier to see. Uh, you'll probably be able to see one from where you spawn. Just run around a little bit. They are ginormous. And as you see here, make sure you either don't have a companion. Honestly, just don't have a companion. I know I, I dismissed mine here because it was just getting so annoying. If you want to fight it, you don't have to worry about it. 
But if you're going to do the trade, your companion will attack the sun giant no matter what. So dismiss your companion or get him trapped in a box or something and then walk over. He'll bring down his hand. You're able to give the offering there and they will give you the uh, ingot back. Now for the third and final item, the Elder Eaton Heart. This one was uh, bugged for me. I'm not sure what happened, but basically the quest told me to go to a gloom swamp realm to find the expert but if you go back to a gloom swamp realm it's just going to be the realm with danu and with a little looking up uh it it's actually a antiquarian swamp realm where you'll find ludivine st Clair, who is the expert that'll tell you how to make the offering basically you'll have to do the same thing you'll go around you'll collect items for them You'll give them to them, they'll give you the recipe for the offering, and then you'll have to go and give that offering, I believe it's an offering of flesh, and you'll go give this offering to the Elder Eaton, and it will give you the Elder Eaton heart. I decided to just fight it. <laughs> um, you can find these guys in Hunt Forest Realms, and I was fortunate enough to just have one spawn directly in front of me where I started. I thought this was going to be annoying of a fight. He kind of got bugged in some rocks. Uh, the fight itself isn't too terrible. I would say if you have a hatchet and the recovery enchantment on something, you can do this with no problem. It's fairly straightforward. They only have a couple moves that kind of shoot different pieces of like roots everywhere. Um, there's also these little light things that come smack you, but they hit you for like four. So it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I just fought it. Its weak spots are these big blue things. The hatchet actually does a much more damage than anything else so just use your spyglass even if they're under the ground it'll still show you where they're at and this one was definitely the easiest one to get out of all of them so to wrap it up you can either fight all of them which just require you go to any desert realm a hunt desert realm for the sun giant and a hunt forest realm for the elder Eaton, or you can do the quest now all that's left is to turn all these into nelly you can turn them in one at a time when you get them um, it's totally up to you. I decided to keep them all and turn them in at the same time. And this is how you're going to be able to get to the watch after the portal has been repaired. And this will kind of start the end game experience for Nightingale. If you guys have any questions about anything that was kind of in this guide, let me know down below. Happy to help. Go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. And as always, hope to see you on the next one.